A ray of light emerging from point A three comma two strikes on x axis at point P alpha comma zero, and reflected ray passes through the point eight comma four. Find the value of alpha. We can solve this problem in more than one method. We'll try to solve it in a simpler way. So for that, what we will do, we will extend. the line bp then we know that the reflection of point a on x axis will be a point on the line extension of bp a dash then what is the image or reflection of point a on x axis the image will be at the same distance and perpendicular to the mirror that means perpendicular to x axis so x coordinate will remain the same and y coordinate will change the sign so it will be 3 comma minus 2 now we can very clearly see that a dash p and b are collinear that means they are points on the same line in that case we can equate the slopes of the line saying that slopes of line segment a dash p is equals to slope of line segment bp now if we have two coordinate we have x1 y1 x2 y2 as coordinates then the slope of a line segment is given by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 now let's leverage that and try to find out the slopes and equate them so that we can find out alpha a, a dash and p y2 minus y1 0 minus of minus 2 divided by x2 minus x1 that is alpha minus 3 equals to slope of bp that is 4 minus 0 divided by 8 minus alpha 4 minus 0 divided by 8 minus alpha let us do simplification of this we will have 2 into 8 minus alpha equals to 4 into alpha minus 3 let us open the brackets we will have 16 minus 2 alpha equals to 4 alpha minus 12 which will give us that 6 alpha equals to 28 or alpha equals to 28 by 6 which is equals to 14 divided by 3 so option a is correct option so let's have a recap of this we have been told that a ray of light emerging from point a 3 comma 2 strikes on x axis at p and reflected ray passes through 8 comma 4 we have to find out what is the value of alpha now we can solve this problem in more than one method in this scenario or in this particular case we have used the reflection concept we said that the reflection of point a on x axis because the point the ray is striking x axis and getting reflected so the reflection of a should be a point on the reflected ray so reflection of our image of a is 3 comma minus 2 now b and p and a dash all of them are collinear they are on the same line when they are on the same line their slope should be same so equating the slopes we got that alpha equals to 14 by 3 now let us solve the same problem in another method in the other method we will consider that we know that angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection so let us say this angle is y and y then automatically we know that this angle is x and x and we know that x plus y, such a way that x plus y equals to 90 degrees now once we know the angles let's find out what is the slope of bp that is nothing but tan of 
so inclination so starting from positive direction of x axis how much angle it is making with the line that is nothing but tan x and when come to slope of ap that will be tan of we know this angle is x that means this total angle will be 180 minus x so the inclination is the angle made by the line ap with the positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise direction is 180 minus x but we know that tan 180 minus x equals to minus tan x now from this we understood that the slope of bp equals to negative of slope of ap now we can leverage the slope of a line segment if you know the coordinates is given by y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so we can write down slope of bp that is 4 minus 0 divided by 8 minus alpha equals to minus slope of ap that is 2 minus 0 divided by 3 minus alpha now let us simplify this we will have 4 by 8 minus alpha equals to minus 2 by 3 minus alpha or can we say 12 minus 4 alpha equals to minus 16 plus 2 alpha simplifying that will give us 6 alpha equals to 28 or alpha equals to 14 by 3. So whether we do it by first method or by the second method we will be getting the same value that alpha equals to 14 by 3. Now here in this particular scenario we are using the concept that these lines are making the same angle with the x axis x and x because angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection automatically the angle made by these lines with the x axis also will be equal. Now slope of a line is given by tangent of the inclination. Inclination is nothing but angle made by the line with the positive direction of x axis in anti clockwise direction. So slope of BP is tan of x whereas slope of AP is tan of 180 minus x which is minus tan x. From that we are able to understand that these slopes are negative of each other. So we know the points we can go ahead and find out the slopes by using slope equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 simplifying we got alpha equals to 14 by 3.